morning. Today is Monday, May 6th. Now please stand for the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to InfoFlow. I'm Caroline. And I'm Sam. In the news, an opioid maker's CEO was convicted of racketeering for bribing doctors to, prescri to prescribe addictive painkillers. Do you want to have one lunch next school year? Tell the administration your ideas by completing an online survey at mbhs.edu slash one lunch. Para responder a la encuesta en español, vaya a mbhs.edu slash un almuerzo. You must be logged into your MCPS Google account to complete the survey. Blazers, the largest vote poll made thus far has been posted online. Go to b.link slash mbhpolls to fill out this massive survey. All answers will be kept anonymous and it only takes a moment. Still note that you must be signed into your MCPS account to access it. Any and all can answer, including staff, so take some time to fill out a poll or two. Now let's go to a recap of the baseball game. Hey Blazers, I'm Hunter Walterman with another edition of Blair Sports Update. On Monday, 2-9 Blair Baseball played host to 9-4 Northwest as the Blazers look to add another win to their 2019 campaign. Blair started off strong, scoring four runs in the first two innings off two hits, one of which was a bases-clearing double from freshman catcher Alex Valdez. Coming in from first base, the umpire ruled senior Noah Stern out because he didn't touch the base as he crossed home plate. Reviewing the video, it's a close call, and personally, I think you can make an argument either way. But at the end of the day, it wouldn't matter, because after the second inning, the Blazers lost their offensive rhythm and would go scoreless for the rest of the game. Northwest, on the other hand, had no problem scoring, almost matching their season high of 18 runs with 17 runs off of 15 hits. After the game, I talked with starting pitcher, sophomore Charlie Weeby, who pitched three innings, earning three strikeouts. So you guys had a good start to the game. Uh, how do you feel about your performance pitching, and how do you feel that you guys did as a whole? Um, you know, it was, a, it was a really disappointing loss. I thought we had a really good chance to win the game going into it, but um, there were just a few small mistakes that really cost, really cost the game for us. And I think if we go back and we change a few plays, uh, we could very easily have won the game. That's all for this week. For BNC, I'm Hunter Walterman. Thanks, Hunter. Hey, Blazers. If you're interested in participating in girls' basketball for the summer, please attend a meeting on Tuesday, May 7th, in Portable 4 at the beginning of both 5th or 6th lunch. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Ferguson. The boys' varsity basketball team will be holding their annual summer league tryouts. The tryouts will take place on May 15th and 16th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the main gym. A current medical clearance form is required in order to try out. Please see Coach Pigram in the boys' PE office with questions and concerns. The boys' JV basketball team will be holding their annual summer league tryouts on May 20th and 21st from 4.30 to 6.30 in the main gym. All incoming 9th and 10th graders interested in trying out will need a current physical to try out. See Coach Charles in the boys' PE office with questions or concerns. That's all for today's show. Check out our website, bncaonline.net, to submit announcements, and follow us on Twitter at BNC Blair and on Instagram at bnc.infoflow. And don't forget to submit creative content using the hashtag, hashtag Blair Silverstream. Have a marvelous Monday, Blazers.